patient. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. My name is BJ. I'm from Physical Therapy, and I'm going to be doing uh, uh, getting this TENS unit ready for you today. TENS is ten transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, which means we're going to have some electrodes on your skin. They're going to um, cause a different sensation that will make your brain kind of think about that instead of the pain that you're having. Okay. So I understand your pain is in your forearm here. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the pain, where it is, what it feels like? Um, it feels like just sharp pains kind of going all throughout this area, very okay. discomfortable. Okay. All right. And if you were going to put a number on it and zero was no pain, ten means you need to go to the emergency room, where would you say your pain is? Oh, like an eight. Eight. Okay. So it's pretty strong pain. Okay, that helps me know how to set this up to get the very best response for you. This is going to work really well for you because what it'll do is it'll make your brain think about the sensation, which will feel kind of like a buzz feeling. Um, it'll make it think about that instead of the pain, so it's going to work really nicely for you. So you can get it on there. Okay, let me tell you a few things here. We have get my electrodes all mixed up here. These are the lead wires. Okay, and we're going to plug those into the unit here in a minute, and we have electrodes. Okay, there's two electrodes that we'll put on your forearm, okay, and then the unit itself. I'll explain some of this other stuff as we go. Um, for the unit, <clears throat> on the back here, there's a little <coughs> door that comes off, and there's a battery in there. It's a 9-volt battery. Okay. The unit will come with rechargeable batteries. There'll usually be two rechargeable batteries. They'll come charged up, but once they die off on you, you're going to need to recharge them. So there's a recharger in here. And you can see there's a large and a small, and that just goes with the large and the small. So just kind of line it up that way, and then plug it into the wall. Okay, you want to drain that battery all the way, so you know, use it up, and then recharge it while you use the other battery. Okay? Um, if you end up using the disposable batteries, um, it's okay to use those, but you cannot use those in the charger. They can actually make the bottom of the battery blow out, and you'll get battery acid around. Okay? So you can use these in the unit itself, not to recharge. Okay? It's just expensive to do that, which is why we put the rechargeables in there. Okay. Other things that you're going to see here, there's a little round knob in here. That's going to go right over the um, areas that we're going to be turning here. You shouldn't need this, but I just wanted you to know what it was in case you saw it in there. Um, I'm going to set up those areas for you, so you shouldn't have to change them. But in case, you know, I don't know if you have any kids at home, anything like that, that somebody might mess with it, you can uh, change those back to where they need to be. They'll be written in the booklet for you. Okay? The booklet, I'm going to write down exactly where your electrodes are going to be. Um, so it'll be on your forearm here. I'll draw them right in. So if you take a shower or something and you need to put them back on, you'll know where to put those. Okay? There's also a troubleshooting guide in here. There's information from the... A manufacturer, I think they have a 24-hour hotline that you can call if you have questions in the middle of the night. Um, so that's a nice little booklet to, to read through when you get a chance. Okay? All right, I think we are ready to get started here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check the 19 contraindications. We're not going to go through those right now, um, but for the checkoff, you will need to know those. So we've checked the chart, all 19 were, were not a problem for you, so we're going to go ahead and do the treatment. We need to clean the area, and the reason we're doing that <clears throat> is we want to make sure we have any dead skin cells off, if you have any lotion on, anything okay. like that. So we're going to rough it up a little bit while we're doing this, okay? It shouldn't just be, you know, one, two little wipes. You want to really rough the area, and the whole area where the electrodes might be going. Okay. okay. Make sure you put the lid back on this because it evaporates otherwise. Um, I also have a cup of water here in case I need uh, to work on the electrodes. Sometimes they lose their stickiness after a while, so you can kind of regenerate that stickiness with water. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Okay, so that seems to be dry now. Um, we're going to put the electrodes approximately here and here. It would be different with every patient depending on you know where their pain is. But we're going to say the pain is in this area right here. Okay. Because you told me your pain is an 8, we're going to go with what's called high rate 10. So I'm going to set the settings here. Um, the rate's going to be at 100. The width, oops, the width is going to start at 50. Okay. I'm going to turn it on for just a second to make sure that that's on normal. Remember I showed you the normal, the multi, all those. So I'm going to turn it on momentarily. It's on multi, so I'm going to change it to normal. 
turn it back off. Okay. So those are set the way I want them to begin with. Okay. Now, patient, this is the lead wire. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take that, and you, you can plug it into either one of those ports. I don't care which one. Okay. There's a port A and a port B. I can't see which one's which. Yeah, A and B. And those go with the buttons up here, A and B. Okay. So if you put it in the bottom one, B, we're going to use the B button to turn up the intensity in a few minutes. Okay. Um, so you've got that in. Next thing we're going to do, when they put the electrodes onto the lead wires, they need to do that before they put the electrodes on their body. Because picture, if you have your electrode here and now you need to plug this into it, you can't reach. It's a two-handed activity. Okay? So always plug the lead wires in before you put the electrodes on. Okay, so we have that one plugged in. Notice when I put that in, I don't have any metal showing. I push it all the way in. There's two of them, a brown one and a kind of tan colored one. Doesn't matter as far as color on this particular type of unit that we're using. So it doesn't matter which one goes where. I'll have you plug the other one in. So again, get the patient involved. And I have no metal space showing. Good. That's beautiful. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put these on your skin. Um, and again, we're going to put them in this area. After we get the patient set up with this, remember this unit is going to be on her belt so that the um, lead wires will actually be going like up through the sleeve and then down the body to plug in. Okay, so when we put the electrodes on, we need to make sure that the tail of the electrode is going the direction that we need it to go. Okay, I don't want to put this on so the electrode tail is this way and then it has to go back up her sleeve. So I want to make sure I'm putting it on the right way to begin with. Okay? I'm going to have you move your chair a little bit closer so we can reach each other easier here. Okay? Now, if these were fresh electrodes, they would be nice and sticky. Thank you, yes. We're going to do a sensation test. <laughs> um, so we did the sensation test in that whole area, like around this whole area, not just where the electrodes are. I'm going to check the skin, make sure that there's nothing um, as far as open sores, um, red areas, bruises, rashes, anything like that, and it looks really good. Some freckles, that's fine. Right. Freckles are allowed. <coughs> um, and again, during the check-off, you'll say out loud that you're checking for that skin integrity, you know, checking for rashes and things like that. Okay. These have actually been used before. They're the ones that were in the box. If they were fresh, they'd be really sticky. But if they're not, see how it doesn't stick very much to me? What you do is put your finger in a glass of water, just one drip, kind of spread it around. And what that'll do is that'll kind of rejuvenate that and make it sticky again. Okay? I don't know how many times this one's been used, so it may not get real sticky. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on, and then I'm going to put my hand over that to melt the adhesive on a little bit. So, you know, just 10, 15 seconds is all you need to do that. Okay. And then what I'm going to have you do is I'll have you put the other one on. Okay. So you got a drop of water? Yep, just a drop of water and get it all over, especially around the edges. Okay. It's okay. Okay. This one's going to go here, and again, make sure that tail is going up the arm. Okay. And hold it for 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, everything is turned off right now. Do I feel like it's going to stay okay? Um, everything is turned off right now. I already have the rate set. Remember, I put that at 100. This is for high rate. So 100 and then 50 for the width. Um, so things are where I want them to start with. And we always want to start out with those two numbers for the height. So then, yes, yes, for the high rate. I'm going to put this back rate. in the port that you had it in here. Okay. 